Hi, welcome back. This is Greg. I've been speaking to you about the gifts and uh, there is an interesting dynamic in gifts. We live in a multicultural world. Each one of us has different notions as to what good manners is. We um, have lost a little bit of this holistic sense of this is the way things are done. Each one of us does things uh, according to their background, their, uh, uh, the way that the family used to do it, stuff like that. So we might find that the golden rule do unto others as you'd like done unto you is, is a little bit trickier these days because other people would want other things done unto them. So there's a platinum rule which is do unto others what you know they would want done unto them and that's the way uh, you should approach gift giving and gift receiving. There is an essential function in the gift giving which is to uh, celebrate the person to whom you're giving a gift and that's what you need to accomplish as the gift giver. There is an essential function that happens as a um, grateful gift receiver, and that's I honor your gesture and your effort in giving me this gift. And that's the job of the gift receiver. But here's the tricky part. It's on the honor system. You can't force somebody to do this. You can't you can't point it out to them, you can't bring it up to them, you can't you can't make them. It ruins it. It ruins the magic. So when you select a great gift and you send it to somebody, you've done your job, you've celebrated their life, good for you. And it ends there. Now maybe they will do their part. And maybe they will call you, maybe they will email you, maybe they'll send you a letter saying how much they love their gift. Maybe they'll mention it casually in passing next time they're hanging out with you. Or maybe they'll forget entirely and they'll never properly acknowledge your gift. Let it go. Your part was done, you celebrated their life. Did they honor the gift? Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. But the problem with you bringing it up to them is you're going to piss on your earlier effort. You're going to wreck your earlier effort, which was to in a very pure, very unselfish way, celebrate their lives. The moment that you bring up gratitude to them, what you're doing is you're you're going back and you're defeating your earlier purpose. So don't do it. Don't do it. The moment that you give a gift, consider it closed. If they then decide to be grateful about it, that's their business. It's their job. And and your art is in the giving. Their art is in the receiving. Now, if you're on the receiving end of, of the gift then now I speak to you directly, which is, you've received this wonderful gift. Now your art comes along. How are you going to acknowledge? How are you going to be grateful for, for what you've received? And uh, hit the mark. Hit the mark by saying it right, realizing the level of effort that was involved. Don't dismiss it. They, they, they had to go to the mall. They had to order something online. They had to think about it. They had to spend their dollars. They had to have discussions as to what would be the right thing to get you. And the thought went into this, and feelings went into this, and expectations now go into this, which we're human, so they do. And so recognize this and send something back. Show them that you honor the effort that they made. And these things build the bond and they build the relationship. And these are the rituals that indicate to us, I see you, I celebrate you, I'm here for you, which is what relationships are all about. Anyway, thanks for listening to me. This is Greg talking about relationships, and I'll catch you next time.